Hey there guys, and welcome back once again to more adventures in Minecraft. Yumi's back there. She she doesn't belong, but she's here anyway. I have cooked up some joust meat, and it it was it turned green when I'm eating it. No. I don't think this I don't think this is good. I look look at what? Okay, maybe I didn't cook it fully. I'm gonna have to check more next time I do that. Um the little mole is still with us, so that's good. Uh in this episode I was thinking, you know, of going mining because Really, we do not have that many ores. If I look in my inventory, I have about one piece of an iron ingot. Not even a p it, it's a full iron ingot, so I guess that's okay. But I mean, you know, it's it's not the way it should be. There should be several iron ingots, making a happy little family. Also, there's some ends over here. So, um, that's kind of strange. I've never fought these before. Look, it's a little baby. It's a family of ants. A family of ants. It is the Entums family. That almost worked, but not quite. That's a stretch. Because I, I... Shush! I have never watched the Adams Family before, so it's not exactly fair. Um, also, I gotta look into my fam guide uh, to see if I could... If I could, like, uh, see what I'm gonna do with these familiars, because I don't really know how to work them. Uh, and the skeleton is the only one I got, and he's not helping too much, as you can see, as I'm killing the Entums Family. Ah, I have a bad feeling that's gonna be the episode name. Um... So little Skelly Bob here. Skelly Bob! That's gonna be his name. Skelly Bob switched sides. Uh, he's shooting a... He's shooting a rat! Where is he? Oh, finally you're shooting something. Okay, come on, Skelly Bob. He's so helpful. I know. <laughs> just after I go around and do everything, he's just... He's finally helping me by shooting a fat rat in the back. I could be a rapper with those arms. Man, <laughs> it's crazy. Um... So, I, I really want to shy away from that cave that we always do. Because we always do the same cave. Let's admit it. Uh, but there's a jungle over here. It's a jungle out there. <laughs> so, uh, there is a cave over here and a giant crater that leads down to nothingness. So, I guess I should go in that. You guys would all probably enjoy that. Vote. Yeah. Vote. Thank you. We got one back there. It Going once, going twice. The cave choosing I don't like that sound whatever that was that was the biggest growl I've ever heard uh, hopefully you guys heard that maybe you don't want to wasn't your stomach was it oh you're trying to burn me on how much I eat well I'm burning the calories though oh <laughs> oh man don't get me started there's something down there that's so much bigger than me it's insane and I'm hearing skeletons move what is this stuff I should have looked at the tooltips, but it's copper ore. I should have guessed that as well. Um, everything is so simple as long as you're not me. Then it, it gets pretty complicated. Oh, oh, that's a silver skeleton. Oh, I'm in over my head. Where are you? Okay, come on. Help me out, dude. I keep thinking I see a skeleton in the corner of my eye, but it's only Skelly Bob. He's just trying to help. Just trying to help. Um, but he's not. He's he's an illiterate. He doesn't know how to read my thoughts. He doesn't even... He's got the rat extermination. Yeah, he's got the rat extermination. He, he went to college for 10 years to learn how to do that. We were actually roommates in our 10-year college stay. Bet you didn't know that. There's little known facts about me. It's, it's facts tied with Flash. I was roommates with a skeleton. I guess you could say, I had a skeleton in my closet. Who <laughs> saw that coming? Uh, nobody. No, don't shoot, old men. I know they're shirtless and I know they're hard to deal with, but you, I, you, you're hurting him. Stop it. Skelly Bob. Skelly! Bob! What HP? I, you just killed an old man. I cannot believe you. Now you have a skeleton in your closet. Cut his peg. <laughs> I know. I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to... Oh, that was my first pickaxe. I can't throw that out. I should start a petition on petition. Oh, no, change.org. He's shooting more shirtless old men. Well, that guy's not exactly old. He, he's kind of a shirtless young man, but... Uh, due to the large amount of female viewers watching, we'll just kill him right away. So that nobody's eyes has to be blinded with that anymore. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's thanking me for that, dude. Um. Because I am one of the females that watch. You're the, you're the first person to see this video. How does it feel? Feels kind of weird. <laughs> it's like behind the scenes. I'm seeing the back of your head instead of your face while you do it. Uh, it's over your shoulder. Oh, we're, we're getting pretty music playing. I can't hear it either. <laughs> well, I guess you'll just never know then. 
So that's why it feels weird. Shirtless old men are getting shot again. Why are there so many werewolves spawning? I'm just gonna. Oh, no, another one, really? I know I'm hurting you inside. You're interfering with their open house. <laughs> They're having an open house down in a cave. Why didn't I think of that? And you just barge in like you've always been there with them and throughout every moment of their lives. And... Hey. Okay, we're, I'm I'm a good friend. Really? To people in need. You can count on me like one, two, three, and I'll be there. To go and slay them all with a sword? <laughs> and I know when I need it, I can count on them like four, three, two, they'll be there. Because that's what... into werewolves and... <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to try to make that work? No, she's not. Ladies and gentlemen, she is not. Um, You're hurting them. Stop it. Well, they deserve everything that they get, though. How many pieces of copper ore do you guess I have in my inventory? Uh, let's not do this. I'm Is it, terrible it, at guessing. Oh, well, yeah, but you just... It's, it's one number. One number. That's all. Uh, 24. 25! That was a good guess. Oh, finally I got close. <laughs> uh, every time I ask Yumi to guess a number, it, it gets embarrassing. I'm gonna I throw usually a, guess way too much. high and then he says that I don't make the actual answer sound as good. Yeah, because he when always I'm, asks me. I'm like, how many subscribers does PewDiePie have on YouTube? And she's like, 50 billion. And I'm like, no, I'm trying to make it sound dramatically high and you're not you're not delivering in this situation. I do that really very often. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess way too high on things and then it's not as dramatic. No, it's supposed to be dramatic. Everything is supposed to be dramatic because I'm a drama king. I have too high of expectations. Because... Great expectations. The book by Charlie Dickens. I never read that, by the way. Neither have I. I We're not. Heard it in a Garfield joke. Really? A Garfield joke? Yeah, John says that he is thinking about writing a story about his life, but he needs a catchy title. <laughs> this is going to be hard. And then Garfield goes, yeah, great expectations is already taken. <laughs> that was a great stab, by the way. <laughs> that was just, that was amazing by Garfield. I, I hope one day to be a good a burner as Garfield the cat. Um, let's see what we can do here. Oh, whoa, I just fell into a cave. I hate it when that happens. Every single time I go into a cave, I fall in. Um, why am I getting, like, the tops of bricks not highlighting? Or is that just my eyes tricking me? My eyes tricked me quite a bit. They, they've come up and they've they come up with this plan to kind of like bully me. They're just like, let's trick Flash. Oh, look, it's a horse in a cave. This is not natural. This is not normal. We need, oh, they spawned a slime on top of my head. This neither is natural nor normal. Oh, I'm getting so much experience though. It's, it's making me happy. Come on, Skelly Bob, let's take these guys down. Gonna have to, oh, I knew it. As soon as I spoke, I jinxed my heart. Don't jinx your heart, that's bad for your health. That never works in your favor. Um, I've dude, seen that. finding so much. Co I just got uh, aluminum ore berry, white chocolate. Who remembers me finding that in Hexit? Raise their hand. I hope you're raising your hand, audience. I hope that they're your face. <laughs> I like white chocolate. Really? You're gonna go there after an elephant just squealed in my ear, and you're gonna talk about white chocolate? Remember you asked if people liked white chocolate or what oh, kind of chocolate they liked? That was like the um that was like the most split comment war ever. I mean the first most split comment war ever was if I should keep facts pure BD craft or not. That was split. And I eventually decided to keep it because I was the deciding factor. I was the X factor. No, I was not. <laughs> because I'm not Simon Cowell and I'm not that critical. But other than that, I mean I mean that was the most um that was just like rip raging. I dark chocolate, white chocolate. I do think dark chocolate won, but with my vote, I do believe we tied white chocolate because That's everybody cool. knows I'm special, right? Yeah, especially Barney knows. Barney is a good dude. Okay, he he had it right. He had his head on straight from the beginning. He knew that everybody was special in his or her own way. He had to kind of clarify though. It didn't it didn't quite make him sound. Um, I don't think we can go... Uh, we didn't go all the way down in the caves, did we? I don't think we did. <laughs> Answer me! <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, the problem is, I like dark chocolate, too. Well, dark chocolate is just... It's, it's well and good, but... I like chocolate. That doesn't count. You can't say that. I like 
chocolate. I like milk chocolate. I like dark chocolate. I like white chocolate. I like them all. <laughs> chocolate is my friend. It's your friend in times of trouble. Because it is always there for you. It's always there. It's for me to eat it. What a give-take relationship this is. <laughs> I mean, come on. So amazing. All right, so um, we're mining some. What? What is this? Aluminum ore. And I hear Mr. Ogre is hungry for his supper, and nobody will bring it to him. What are we gonna do? He's going to come to you. Ah, well that could be dangerous. Uh, never let a hungry. If if there's a ad in like, uh, see where uh, Craigslist is where they put up all the ads. Is if there's an, a strange ad that says, uh, I'm a hungry ogre and I want to come to your house and eat you. Yeah. No. Don't even look into that one. You know how everybody, everybody is always trying to um, reveal your Facebook account? You know how that works? How? I don't either, really. Um, so I, know it's, I know what's happening. I just, that's why I don't go outside, because people will tell other people where my Facebook account is. As soon as you set foot up. I know. It's so creepy. Um, Alright, I think we just done a... Oh, no, another shirtless old man. I was about to clock myself out. But Can now... Me? What? What? Me? What? what? Oh, Gerald! <sighs> ah, now the birds are chirping. They're acting so cheerful when they know it's not. So I was about to respond. What is this blue ore? This is appetite ore. I love appetite ore. Because guess what? I have an appetite. <laughs> would have guessed that. See what I did there. Alright, this is a strange ore. I'm getting like 26. This comes in such big veins, it's like great to, um... It's great to give you experience, actually. Alright. Uh, just a little bit more. More ore. This is such huge veins. Look at this thing, Yumi. Yumi, take in the amazingness of this huge vein. This is like, it's never ending. I don't even have room to take in any more of it. I'm going to have to throw out my... I almost had to throw out my poison water that that iron golem gave me. <laughs> That's precious and dear to your heart. I'm going to... So dear to my heart. It's a movie reference. I'm going to keep that in a chest, actually. Okay, I think I'm going to use the rest of this pickaxe to actually get out of the cave. And, uh, what else should we throw out? Probably, I'm gonna keep my stone sword in here. One more appetite. Because I always take one more when my appetite grows up. Mm. Don't you, um... <laughs> don't you? <laughs> uh, it depends. Ah, uh, it's too bad that some people can't give in to their appetite as much as I can. Uh, our house is 200 meters away. I had a little kid that you always used to watch me play Minecraft with uh, Ray's minimap, and you always used to see that little M there, and he used to say, our house is 200 miles away. <laughs> and I always had to explain to him, no, this is not how the world works. The little M means meters. The big M means sometimes miles, sometimes metropolis, because I left my heart in metropolis. <laughs> you should go get it by now. I know, he's just like, I left my heart in my trap, but he never goes and gets it. And he, and he talks like a, like a hijacked train or a runaway plane or a speeding bullet, there's no stop in this. And he left his heart in Metropolis, but he just, he can't go get it. But wee wee wee, he's coming after you. <laughs> that wasn't very good. Uh, there's gonna be wolves around my house and I'm uncomfortable because of this fact. We're finally back home though. How do you feel when you get back home and you have to break down your door? I mean, that's just quality, isn't it? All right, let's make a couple more furnaces to compensate um, for all of the many, many ores that we have. Um, I'm going to start by putting a little bit of coal in here, but not a lot. Actually, no. No, I will not succumb to this. I am going to make coal blocks because we are on a new version of Minecraft, and who says, who says you're not perfect? Who says you're not perfect? Oh, don't insult my Gomez. My Gomez? What the heck? Um, <laughs> she not my Gomez. <laughs> oh, is it confession time? Isn't it not confession time? I have no idea where that came from. It's 
it it would be in like music terms, but I listened to like two Selena Gomez songs, and I can't even remember what the first one is. Um, uh, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, Mr. Mole and I are back home. We had a good day. It's it's suffice it to say we had an amazing day. Would you like to tell everyone how amazing of a day we had, Yumi? It's just it's 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 perfect, wasn't it? Incredible. If you could sum up this. In other than incredible episode in one word, what would it be? Flash. That's already that's already taken. So this appetite can apparently be used in stamps. I I don't have anyone to mail, so I don't know where I'd where I'd actually use those. But um, I'm gonna put away my important things. And uh, guys, it has come down to the end of another important episode in the Adventures in Minecraft series. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like and a comment. Me and Yumi will be waiting to respond to them. Since you're in this episode, you do have to respond to the comments. You know that, right? Yep. So you're going to get a response from both of us, and maybe even Mr. Mole. Is that- Bottles. Bottles the Mole. I'm gonna name tag him in one episode. Uh, but we will see you guys- This- Sorry for this extra long episode. I don't know if it's- I actually don't know how long it is, but we shot old men. We uh, fought the Antums family. Me and Skelly Bob got more acquainted. And we're smelting up some iron as well as, like, making, you're, you guys are making better friends with Yumi. So, uh, me and Yumi are going to see you guys in the next episode. See you guys then.